I was like, what the hell is going on? Hello and welcome to Tracy Momi Reads. My goodness, it has been a while. I have been under the weather. So uh, unfortunately I haven't been able to post uh, for the, like the last two weeks. I have never, you know, wanted to get that far behind on the channel. So I am pulling it together today, even though I'm not at 100%, just so that I can bring you um, one of the latest books that I read. And that's one of the things about, you know, kind of not feeling well and having so much downtime, I have been able to read a couple of books <laughs> during this time. But today we are going to be talking about The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. The Paris Apartment. My, 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 you know, I just, uh, for some reason, I just cannot stay away from these mystery and suspense uh, books now that I've, you know, kind of got such a taste for them. It's almost my go-to genre because you just, you know, something exciting is going to happen and it kind of, the buildup that the authors have uh, leaves you um, as a reader, you know, flipping those pages. And a lot of times, you know, sometimes, you know, with me with these endings, but this one, it, it was solid throughout. This one was solid throughout. I mean, from the beginning, I was like, what the hell is going on? So the premise of the book, it takes place in Paris and there is this woman, and I think she's English, her and her brother. Um, she She's coming to visit her brother at his apartment in Paris. So ergo the title of the book. And when she gets there, you know, she's kind of like, you know, step back. She kind of has like, you know, issues, problems, you know, they like, I think they have the same mom, but not the same dad, you know, and she's just had some issues throughout her life because they were both adopted when they were younger. And he went to, you know, a nice posh family and had some, you know, good experiences and her not so much. So uh, he's already kind of like leery when she calls or whatever, but you know, hey, it's family. Go ahead, you can come, you can stay with me for however long. And she's running away from something that she did, so she really needs a quick escape. So she gets to his apartment and he's not there. And at the beginning of the book, he's on the phone with someone when someone knocks on his door and his voice kind of trails off, you know, like, what are you doing here? And then that kind of ends that chapter. So as a reader, you know something did happen and somebody came to his apartment. You just don't know, like, how that ended. So you're just as lost as his sister when she shows up and he's not there. I thought it was just a very well-crafted mystery. And from the moment that his sister, and the guy's name was Ben, his sister's name was Jess. From the moment that Jess arrives, you know, as the reader, you're like, what the hell's been? What, what the hell happened? What, you know, what, what's going on here? And it just, you know, again, it's a page turn. It has you turn the pages. I love in suspense and thriller type books when the author makes everybody a suspect. And, and, you know, as a reader, you go along with that. You're like, yeah, I knew he did it. He's the one that did it. And then you're like, oh no, she probably did it because she had the motive. Oh, but no, it probably really was her. I mean, the author is making you believe every time they put a character in front of you and give you kind of like the backstory of their relationship with Ben, you're like, he did something to him. Oh no, it was her. She did it. So you never really, as a reader, I didn't ever have that one person that from the onset, I was like, oh, it was him. Oh, it was her. I never like could pinpoint a person because everybody, everybody like had a reason, everybody had a connection. So I really enjoyed that. You know, it just, it just kept amping up the level of who done it or what's going on or where it's been. Um, it was really cool uh, and pretty clever because initially, you know, you're thinking that, okay, you know, like I said at the beginning, his sister comes to stay with him. He lives in an apartment in Paris. And there you go. There's your title. But it really alludes to something a little bit deeper than that. And is the apartment really even an apartment? <laughs> you know? So we, we kind of find out more about that and its origins and the role that everybody in the house plays. It's just no one is what they seem. Nobody is above suspicion. Nobody is above, you know, being guilty. And to some degree, everybody is kind of guilty of something. 
related to what ultimately happens in the book. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to give any spoilers, but I was just intrigued from the very first chapter. And at first I was like, oh, this book is going to be so long and drawn out because of the way the chapters were set up. But it's every character, and I am a big fan of multiple points of view, because I think it kind of gives you insight into what every character is thinking. It's not just from the one-sided view of this one character who is assuming this is what this person is thinking or feeling, and they really don't know. So I love kind of hearing from a lot of the characters in the story, if it's done well, and it doesn't leave a lot of confusion. And I think that, you know, in the Paris apartment, Lucy Foley was definitely able to do that. Every character kind of got their say, and you got to hear from them what they were thinking or what they were doing or why they did it. And it just made the story feel a lot more cohesive. And there were times too where, you know, once I realized what was going on and like how everyone in the apartment was connected, I felt like, oh, okay, I know now this, this or that, this is going to happen. And no, they then, then the author threw another bombshell in and you're like, what? It just was so well done and so well thought out and every little detail and nuance connected in the story. Even if it's like some minor detail that you're thinking isn't important or it's not going to matter, it, it will and it does. So it's really important to pay attention so that when everything comes to a head, you know, you're not caught off guard, you know, I mean, you're going to be caught off guard regardless because... I just was not thinking what happened happened. And even the ending, it just really surprised me. And it's it's been a while that that has happened with books. And it was a very satisfying ending in that everything was wrapped up. And it wasn't necessarily in a nice, neat package. It wasn't necessarily a happily ever after. But under the circumstances and considering all things considered, you know, the way that the author wrapped it up, there was no other way I feel like things could have been done at that point. But uh, I had realized that when I saw the author's name, I was like, that name sounds really familiar. I had read another one of her books called The uh, Guest List, and it was kind of along the same vein. There were a lot of people involved because it was um, about a wedding. So there were a lot of people involved, uh, involved. Somebody, I don't know if somebody went missing or somebody died, but everybody pretty much was a suspect and you kind of got, you know, the reasonings why, and you know, it just made it really hard. I mean, I could imagine like if, if the Paris apartment or even the guest list, you know, both of her books, if you were a juror, like on a uh, trial or somebody is accused of murder and you know, the, uh, the defense brings in all these witnesses, you know, to try to show you that it could have been anybody like it probably would have resulted in a mistrial or something because you would, you would be thinking everybody's guilty or everybody had a hand in this. And that's how the Paris apartment was. It's everybody was in on it unwittingly, unknowingly, but their paths had crossed. They had set up things that they did, you know, kind of led to something else that happened. And it was just really good. And just, like I said, very well written and if you are a big fan of suspense or thriller books that keep you guessing to the end or that keep adding details and, you know, plot twists within the story, just as you're thinking you're figuring it out and you like to continually be surprised and the gasping moments are just, just keep going up and up a notch, then you will really, really enjoy this book. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. I think I heard that this one may be being adapted for um some type of limited series or something and I could really see this playing out well I mean it's so many so many books that are being adapted for television and um and the and movies you know theatrical releases it's just a testament to how uh amazing some of these stories and some of these writers are I mean it's it's hard now to even think of any movies that aren't based on like a book first or in some cases even a comic book but yeah I really enjoy that The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley this is one that you will devour like in a day or two if you're that type of reader if you're a voracious reader like myself 
So yeah, like I said, I just wanted to jump on, you know, appearance be damned, and just let you guys know that I am still here, that I'm still alive, that the channel's still going to be moving forward. So let me know if you have read The Paris Apartment or any other of uh, Lucy Foley's books. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for uh, all the people that are continuing to subscribe, all of those that have subscribed. Uh, just make sure you like this video. And if you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. I'm going to be back with a lot more content. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.